Hey neighbors, happy Saturday. Here's our OOTD of the day. I have on a basics, just a long top here. Uh, that top is from Shein. Also, those leggings are from Shein. I have on the coach purse with the product sandals. And I also have my tea and a pair of big chunky glasses. Uh, hair back in a ponytail and cereal earrings and my smell of today is going to be I think it's a pleasures perfume I didn't bring it out the room but it's pleasures by Estee Lauder hope you all are enjoying your Saturdays and having a great day as I am just running some errands doing some shopping while my husband is away out for procedure but uh, hey thanks for joining me and let's get on with our day Start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin Beginning to thaw Hey y'all, hi neighbors, happy Monday, <laughs> October the 7th, let's get ready to take my husband to the doctor, so today I am around to OOTD, it's going to be my husband's shirt, it is the, the Kenneth Cole, I have on a black tank top, I have the have on the Shein jeans that I had on my last haul, I do have on the Sam um, Adamant shoes to go along with it as well. And our scent of today is going to be pleasures because I am feeling good. Okay, by Estee Lauder. Also, we have on our Amazon glasses. And I also gonna be can I'm gonna be carrying the beautiful um Jordan Macmillan handbag. I picked it up from our local our local consignment shop as well, brand new. I will be showing you all that as well in a few here. Um it's black. It's beautiful. The shoes that I have on, I wanted to put on that black. Uh, I'm sorry, the black and yeah, blue to match my whole outfit. And um, hair pulled back in a ponytail. My Amazon favorite glasses, as I told you all that before, remember? Just beautiful. A pair of silver earrings. The whole outfit is gorgeous. Everyone loved it at the hospital. I have on that gold, silver ring with it. I actually wore this outfit to Kroger's later on that evening when the nurse got here. I ran out. When I tell you the guys love to see me in this man's shirt, whoo, I think it turned them on. And I'm not even kidding you all. I think it turned them on. I was rocking this. <laughs> I was rocking it. So let's go ahead and get out of here. And I had so much fun with my grandson this weekend. I kept him. He left out here a Sunday afternoon. He's like a hotel. He check in at noon on Saturday, but he had to check out at noon on Sunday. So that's his schedule. <laughs> He's on a hotel schedule. But I will catch you all in the next clip. Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. No, we're on our way back to, right? Another doctor's appointment this morning. I have on, again, one of my husband's 
oversized shirts, <laughs> another tank top up on dub head. I think these jeans are American Eagle. I also have on the Amazon um, crossbody. I will link that down in the description as well. The one I reviewed, which is a gifted free product. Uh, I also have on Amazon, my favorite Amazon glasses right there, right? Hair pull back in the bond. I also, I'm wearing the Versace um, perfume here. Which one is that? Versace, um, what is it? Um, crystal, bright crystal, that's what it is. And uh, I also have on the Kevin Klein shoes. Um, this is our OOTD of the day. And I have on an Apple Watch. And I have on these gold earrings. Amazon. I will link those as well in the description box. But hey, let's go ahead and get out of here. And um, hey, if you haven't did it by now, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Appreciate you all being here. Thank you so much, neighbors. Hey, y'all. Let's go ahead and have our sit down here really quickly so we can get this video over with, right? It's been short and sweet. Our outfit of the day is from Fashion Nova, right? Out of my closet. I think I had it about a year and a half now. I also paired it with uh, some a pair of black and white shoes here. I don't know the name of the shoes. I'm sorry. I don't feel like getting up looking at the name of those shoes. Uh, I also have on the Perfect Perfume by Marc Jacob um some silver earrings here not much jewelry at all I have tons of jewelry but i don't like wearing jewelry i don't know why and my nails uh, but other than that let's get into Welcome back to our returning subscribers. And also, we did pick up one or two new subscribers. So, welcome to our neighborhood. I appreciate each and every one of you all. And, neighbors, before we get into the video, let me just thank you all for the love and support on the last video. I appreciate each and every one of you all. Um, the numbers are slowly going up on the videos. And you all probably have noticed that I've taken a lot of my videos down and placed them on private because. It's just don't, I just don't feel it anymore. It's just not my life anymore, right? I started out doing all this fashion and all this other stuff, but I'm in a new place, and I want every video from here on out to be about us, our community, caregivers. No matter who you are, we're all caregivers. Like I said in my last video, when someone just has, has more responsibilities than others, mine, I just have a little bit more responsibilities than anyone else, but I'm no better than any other caregiver out here, trust me. And um. I just want our videos to be about that. Now, I'm thinking that because I put all those videos on private and take a lot of those down, they're affecting my numbers uploading new videos on the channel. I've noticed that because I, I have demonetized so many old videos. So that plays a part in all this as well. Also, um, I'm just jumping right into the video. I'm not gonna waste anyone's time. Also, I just, um, the video about today is just gonna be about uh, the outfits of the week. You all see a few outfits that I worn out on Saturday. You all see two outfits that I worn out to my husband's office appointments. I dressed him with his shirts. Oh, he love it. He love it. <laughs> he love it. And that look that I had on with the blue top. I went into progress. Men's are actually turned on. They see women's and men's shirts. I'm telling you, I went to progress and the guys was actually turned on. By seeing me in the men's shirt with those jeans, they was smiling and looking. I'm like, but I'm taking <laughs> Don't get the ideas in your head. But yeah, they actually like it. I just decided, you know, y'all know my, my, my style, right? I don't follow trends over here. I, I told you all that before. We don't follow trends over here in this neighborhood. Uh, there's a lot of trends out here going around, you know, everyone cutting off the hair and things. And that's not, so you know, we don't, we don't follow trends over here in this neighborhood. That's not going to ever happen. Here. We're not ever going to be cutting off any hair or anything else over here. Um, but I just wanted to just say, you know, uh, those outfits of the week was awesome. 
Let me know how you all like it. And which one was your favorite? And how did you dress this week? Now, if you want to link a picture of yourself in one of your outfits of the day, do a so in the comments. Do a, link me a picture of yourself and say, oh, yeah, girl, you got it going on. I'm liking that because we so down to earth and casual around here now. <laughs> oh, we still get sexy. Like this outfit here. This brings us to our outfit of the day. That's your know Sexy as heck, right? It's, it's too, it's too sexy. I don't know if it's Fashion Nova. I think it's Fashion Nova or Shein. Maybe it's Shein. I don't know. I'm going to the tag when I take it off. It's either Fashion Nova or Shein. But I'm definitely going to let you all know. Great for the fall. I started to put on some black boots, but I decided, hey, you got the black and white shoes, put on the black and white heels. Still kind of warm out, right? Depending on what part of the world you're in. And also, if you're watching me from the hurricane zones and all that, our best wishes and prayers goes out to each and every one of you all. We wish you all the best. Get some well, be safe. Um, hopefully things work out. You'll see the video after the hurricane is all over with. And, and rebuilding life is hard. I know that. It's hard. You know, every time I get into a place in my life where I want to have a pity party and I want to feel like this week as a caregiver, sometimes we get down or we get out. We just want to have a pity party, right? I wanted to have a pity party. A lot of times I do want to have a pity party for myself, but it's, it's not like bothering other people. So I get into a place where I start feeling down and like, you know, like life to start, you know, wearing down on you. But God reminds me, he shows up each and every time I try to go into this dark hole. He shows up and say, my, my, my child, you are blessed. I kept you. You are favor. I favor you. you. You see, I favor you, right? No one is going to feel sorry for you. Because when they look at you, they look at they look at an example of a well-kept woman. No one is gonna feel sorry for you. And he's not, and, and that's the truth. That is the honest to God truth. Every time I try to get into a dark hole, he reminds me, doesn't mean you want into this dark hole. Because no one is gonna feel sorry for you. And you know, and and, and, and when I think about that, he's right. Um one associate of mine, Italian, well, not associate anymore. And, and she will always ask me, you know, about my husband and how things is going, this and that, this and that. You know, and, and I'm, not, I'm not a public person when I put everyone in our business. No. You know, maybe he's doing okay, he's doing, you know, you know, it's just life just stepped in when things first started happening. You know, I'm like, life just stepped in, life happened, you know, we're just taking it one day at a time. You know, we're getting through it the best we can. You know what she said to me? She looked at me and she said to me, what are you complaining about? You can have any man you want, and you know it. Why are you complaining? I'm like, woman, I just told you. You asked me about my husband of 34 years. You asked me how was he doing. And you turned around and you flipped the strip, and you, it's like, you're not, like, I'm not asking you for any remorse or to feel sympathy towards me. You asked me how was he doing, and I just told you. He didn't say, I never spoke, spoken to her again. It's been months, months, several months ago. Never said another word to her again. And I said, no wonder your marriage ended in the divorce. You see your father spent all this money to have this big old huge wedding for you and then end in the divorce. That's why. Because people don't take their marriage seriously. You gonna, And that's why I'm saying to you all, God always remind me, why you wanted to go into a dark hole? No one is going to feel sorry for you. No one. Not even my therapist. He didn't want to counsel me. He couldn't help me because he couldn't help himself. Um, but when I tell you the favor that God has shown us over here in this neighborhood, I can't go into a dark hole because he also reminds me there's people out here worse off than you. Be grateful. Be grateful because there's someone out there worse off than you. And there he is. The hurricane, we sent all our blessings, all our prayers to each and every one of you all. Hopefully everything works out for you all. You all make it through this hurricane. But um, when I tell you, you got to believe that there's a God. You got to believe it. Because I know this. So he tells me all the time. You don't need to go into a dark hole. No one is going to pity you. They're going to look at you and look at you and start making assumptions, start making accusations. They're not going to pity you. There's no need for you to go into a dark hole. And that leads us to and neighbors, before I get up in here, I want to show y'all a video of me <laughs> getting ready to go get my right So, here. my husband said, I should rock the pro. He said, rock the pro. Do not put on the hat. Just go ahead and rock the pro. I'm like, I'm like, dude. I'm like, <laughs> I'm 
I walked the road. He said, mm. He said that actually looks good on me. Okay? I'm like, mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So, we're going to play it safe. <laughs> we, I can't have my booty shorts. I'm not wearing these shorts, y'all. So, we're going to play it safe. We are not going to be rocking the pearl. I don't think. I think I'm going to put on this hat, push all of this stuff back, and go get my silk press so we can have this stuff to just drop, okay? That's, that's what we got to do. I'm not. I'm not. I'm like, I need to, to rock this pearl, I need to do a little bit more to it, right? I just need to get it. A lot of, some more kinkiness out of it and, and all this other stuff out of it. Then I can probably rock it. My hair is just so full and so... It's, it's bouncy. It's bouncy, okay? But it's not to where I want it to be to rock this pro. Now, give it. Put on my 70 jeans. I, I can pull this off. Let me see. And a nice handbag. A nice handbag with this. I can definitely put off this look. Make no mistake. I can put it off. I know I can put it off. And some look 70 stack heels with it. A nice handbag. But y'all, we're not gonna pull it off today because I'm going to get my hair did. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this hat off. <laughs> I'm putting it all back in a big ponytail and I'm gonna go get my hair did. I'll catch y'all in the next clip. I will take a sip of all jeans. <laughs>
they judge everything, right? They're looking at you, your appearance, they're looking at the, at the, at the patient appearance, and whether y'all know it or not. Everything goes in, in the bowels, right? I was talking day one. You always keep on your repair, clean underwear, clean bra, clean panties, everything. Make sure your hair done, your nails done. That's how it, I was lazy. Make sure you clean anything that happened to you outside. You don't know when you had to end up going to the hospital. So um, I told her, I said, because I don't want to ever have to get up dealing with no natural curls and dealing with uh, a natural afro and then I'm looking at a mask. No, I, told, I would literally be sick and upset. So this style in my braids actually keeps me looking flawless and beautiful because I don't wear makeup much and I need to make sure I'm put together. You know, like I told her, I want to be put together. So I just do a few tape-ins with my uh, natural hair, which is not there because it, it, it's, you know, everything is appropriately lit, right? right? So it gives it a little bit more length on there, but my hair may come like right here once she's flattering it, so that's good. And she was like, why did I want the tape-ins? I'm like, it's just convenience for me. It's very convenient. I don't have to do anything to my hair much. Keep it, you know, keep it, shiny and bored I get it done every two weeks and I told her you know because it's an easier easier thing for me uh, to do this and she really she was like yeah a lot of my clients they go they're natural but they still get a tape in they have long tube they still want their coolness too so that's understandable so I'm like it's so in and just take it um and then I told her I, I, I want to make sure I maintain my healthy head and hair so I don't, I don't wear wigs or anything I don't put anything out I never actually wear wigs ever 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 and um and like I told her my braids is, is my braids is my comfort as well and she was like, you know, I told her my story because I was born in the tweets and I said, of course, I have my son coming over with sitting his father on Sunday. You know, she told me. And she didn't stay in my house, but as I was showing her the pictures of my video before I even told her my story, she was like, you have a beautiful home. And she has said to me, she said, you know what? She said, I, I go to three of my clients' houses and do their hair. She said, you know what? You don't have to do much. That shop that I went to, that I just started going to, it's way over east. And I'm up north, right? And she was like, you don't have to come here. She said, I would come to your house every two weeks on the Sunday and do your hair. I was like, really? She said, yes. She said, I would come to look at God. Look at God. I don't have to worry about now trying to get the weather, getting bad and my son coming over to see with his father. And I may not be able to get him, he may be busy. She's gonna come to my house every two weeks and do my hair. So we have a home on this Sunday. We're gonna do another washing set and a silk press. And then after that, we may go back into the braids, like I told her, because my hair is at a great length. I don't want to be putting it out and putting a lot of heat on it. It's a very nice length. It's very bouncy, wavy, you know, pretty long length. And I don't want to mess up my hair. So we might go back into the braids, I told her. And then in the springtime, I would probably go into my natural curls. Um, or, like a long length, they more long than Who knows, right? <laughs> or whatever. Y'all know it's going to be put together. So that's why I told her I do that because I don't ever want to be caught off guard. Because I'm at, I'm in a I'm at a point in my life where I have to stay 100 at all times. 100 meaning in appearance, I have to stay 100. I can't afford to take a downfall. I have to be ready at one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock, four five. And this has happened. Three o'clock in the morning, I'm called EMT. Four o'clock in the morning, I'm called EMT. I'm up. I have to be ready. I have to be ready. And I want to look good when I'm stepping out of this house, regardless of what time of the day it is. So let me know what y'all think about the outro. Leave a comment in the box. That's pretty sexy. That's pretty sexy. But when she fly down and got it to drop, she's shaking and waving everywhere. <laughs> but neighbors, this has been a down to earth video. Just to talk. It's a very chatty blog. <laughs> but um. I appreciate each and every one of you all. And come back next week for our next video. We must probably do that much in the video because we did a lot in the last video. And we're going to probably do a lot in the next video. This has been a very calm, down to earth video. It's a few outfits of the days, my old afro, and uh, just a chatty, talking about. But other than that, we're going to get off of here. And I wish you all to have a productive, blessed week. You all take care of yourselves. You all take care of each other. Thanks for coming around the neighborhood. Thanks for watching and take care neighbors. Thanks for watching.